Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Microsoft Chicago Build 73 inside of VMware Workstation or VMware Player. Now I will have all of the links that you need down below uh, and yeah, uh, let's just get started. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, create a new virtual machine and you're going to want to select the custom advanced option and then click on next you want to click on next again and leave this as the uh, default here uh, select I will install the operating system later and then click next Now you want to set the uh, operating system as Windows 95 and then click next and uh, give it a name I'm just going to call it Microsoft Chicago and then click on next and uh, leave this as the default as well and, and then click on next uh, and you can also leave this as the default unless you want to give it some more uh, RAM to use. Click on next and you want to use bridge networking so it's just uh, select that option and, and uh, click on next. You want to leave this as the default and uh, click on next. You want to create a new virtual disk. Click on next. You want to keep it as IDE. You want to keep it as uh, the default. 8 gigabytes is fine uh, to work with. You don't really need any more than that. Uh, and you want to store it as a the disk as a single file and then click on next and next and uh, finish so now you want to, to click on edit virtual machine settings and all, all you have to do here is you have to go to the CD DVD IDE drive uh, and click on use ISO image file and you want to browse to the uh, Microsoft Chicago uh, ISO image that you downloaded. Then you want to go to the uh, floppy disk drive, uh, check connected at power on, then click use floppy image file, and you want to browse to the uh, boot disk that you downloaded. Alright, now again, all of these links, uh, both to the uh, Chicago ISO and to this uh, DOS 6.22.img boot disk will be down below. But anyway, you just want to click on uh, OK down here. And now we can uh, click on power on this virtual machine. And now we are going to be starting up. We're going to be starting MS DOS, and we're going to be booting into uh, MS DOS here. And now all we have to do is type in F disk. It's going to be in the virtual machine. Type in F disk, and uh, choose one. You want to choose one again to create a uh, primary DOS partition. And uh, you, you want to press Y at this point to use the uh, maximum available size. And then you want to keep the uh, DOS disk in the drive. And you want to press any key. And it's going to restart. And now it's going to reboot into MS DOS. And now you want to type in format C colon. And press Y. And it's going to format. And you just want to press enter. And now it has uh, formatted the uh, virtual drive. And now you can press uh, R, the, or go into the R drive now. I just want to make note of this. Uh, as you can see up here, it says drive R colon driver banana unit zero. Um, whatever it says up here, it might be different for you, but for me, it's, it's, it's uh, drive R. So that's what I'm going to go into. So R colon. And you want to type in setup, and it's going to begin copying files for the Chicago setup. And we are now uh, going to begin installing. So uh, you just want to click on uh, continue here. You want to click on continue again, continue again, and I accept the uh, agreement. And you want to uh, say yes to uh, installing these uh, plus pack components. And now it is going to begin uh, analyzing the uh, system. So uh, I, I will be back once we are at the second part of the uh, installation. All right, uh, we are at the uh, second portion of the setup where it is going to uh, ask us a bunch of questions. And of course, you're going to have to uh, answer them. So uh, we're just going to have to click on the uh, begin setup button here. And it's going to say that it was uh, unable to uh, I identify some devices, but that's pretty much because we're in a uh, virtual machine. Uh, but it's it's okay. It's not really going to uh, affect how this runs. But anyway, just uh, just click on OK, 
and we'll uh, bring up this menu here and I would just go with the uh, default options that it selects so it has uh, selected this one here this uh, PCAT enhanced keyboard so that's the one that I'm going to go with so just click on OK and now this is the this is probably the most important part of the uh, setup here uh, because you have to actually enter in this uh, beta site ID which is in the uh, zip file there is a, uh, a like a text document with a uh, working beta site ID and password so I'm just gonna type in uh, my name and my company I'm not gonna put in anything for that and the uh, beta site ID and the password I'll just uh, put that in okay so once you have uh, entered in all of this you want to click on OK and you want to just uh, confirm this so click on yes and now it is going to move on to step three where it is going to begin uh, actually copying the files so I will be back once uh, it is done copying files alright it has finished copying files and now we are uh, presented with this uh, sort of like error message and it, uh, is pretty much saying that it can't find or update your uh, auto exec.bat and config.sys files on drive A and uh, it's saying that uh, it, it's going to uh, put them into the uh, Windows directory instead of on the hard drive so just uh, click on cancel and then you want to click on con uh, continue here and it's going to say congratulations your, your new version of Windows uh, installation has been completed so then click on OK and it's now going to restart now as you will notice it has uh, started back up into MS-DOS and that's because we still have the uh, boot disk in the drive so all you have to do is uh, power off the uh, virtual machine and you want to click on uh, edit virtual machine settings go to the uh, floppy drive and then uncheck connect that power on then click OK and power it back on and it should now boot into Windows so here we go it is going to uh, update the uh, configuration files so this is just like uh, its uh, first boot process here and here we go we got the little uh, under construction uh, thing in the background and now all you have to do is uh, log in with the same name uh, that you chose during setup so mine was MJD7999 so I'm going to type in that click on OK and it's going to say there is no password list do you want to create one? I'm going to say no because I don't want to put a, a password on this account but if you did you would say yes and type in your password uh, and now it's going to uh, finish doing some uh, like drivers work and I'm going to just click on uh, cancel to that. I just want to plan on printing from this which I don't know how good that would work but yeah this is uh, Microsoft Chicago and uh, yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you uh, enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe I'm planning on more um, I'm planning on making more videos like this in, in the future so uh, stay tuned for those and as always I will see you in the next video